there, dreamers. Beautiful dreamers. Not so beautiful dreamers. You're all beautiful. I'm sure you're all beautiful. I'm sure everyone's beautiful. Isn't that a nice little song? I wonder if anyone recognises that. You gotta be, you gotta be old. You gotta be old or into your uh, retro video game music to recognise that one. They're, all, they're always on, a, they're always on the same sort of theme. So you can probably figure it out if you've, if you've been following along close enough. But anyway, good evening, everybody. I hope, I hope everyone is happy and well on this uh, kind of warm, kind of stuffy Thursday evening. I'm all right. Thanks for asking. Yeah. We're here again, congregated in this Thursday evening stream to dwell, to feel a bit dreary, but yeah, maybe it'll be okay. Maybe it'll be okay. I'm, I'm sure it'll be all right. It's weird. I, I, I had, I had like such a. I'll get into. It, I had such a. I had such a lousy ass week, and then I, I went. I went into like the the sort of the afternoon of Thursday thinking yeah stream and then I got to like now and I'm thinking oh god and now let we go in the chat we got uh fucking fairy slash and Uritsuki two hours early for the stream what like what what that's mental and Dame was there early as well apparently no first hand account of this but um we got Dr. Rod, Argon, Demon, Sabi um, what happened that only, like, what happened that you could only view? It's good to be finally back to be able to view in the chat instead of just locked to only viewing. Uh, I, what? What, were you, like, on a phone or something? How did you manage that? How on earth have you managed that? Who knows? Um, so, we're, we're what, two weeks into the jam now? Is it? I forget. I think it's two gems. Legal reasons. Did you get banned from YouTube chat? How do you even do that? Is that possible? I don't know. Um, yeah. And do you know what people are already like? Mm, you're gonna play more fan games. Mm, you're gonna. Play, you're gonna. Is this more Yuminiki fan games? So do you know what? Do you know what? I've had enough. I've had enough. Right. I've had enough of it. I've had enough of you. I've had enough of this. Attitude of like, oh, is it, where are we gonna play Doom? I'm not having it, right? Not having it. Done, right? I'm just, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna sit here. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna sit. All right, I'm bored of that. Got a better idea than that. Well, I, I hopefully a better idea than that. Uh, we are going to uh, talk to a dream, a, a jammer. We're going to talk to another jammer. Following with last week, uh, hopefully. Hello, Leighton. How's it going? Hello there. Hi. I, I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I was watching the stream. I was trying to see when you were going to pull me in, and then you were still talking. Then. Yeah, I, I can. And I have you talking to me too. I, I can talk a lot. Like I can talk the what's the old expression the hind legs off a donkey, I don't know something like that. Um, nobody's been <laughs> nobody's been complete. Uh, I hello there out of ideas. Um, yes, thank you for coming on, uh, Leighton. Leighton, yeah. is that okay? Just say Leighton. Or Loz, yeah, that's fine. Laws yeah. Laws two. Mister Laws two. Thank you. Mister Laws two. I, I can I yeah. can try and do that, but bear in mind I'm gonna have a few drinks at, at some point. So. Um, I'm, I'm probably going to stumble. I'm going to stumble over any word that's in the vocabulary, but that one might um, also uh, strike me particularly hard. Um, you know, you you could join us in some kind of drinking. Uh, I don't drink, but you know, I do have a can of Coca Cola, so it's going to get crazy. You can do shots of Coca. No, don't, <laughs> don't do shot. No, don't do shot. shot you can do shots of Coca Cola. That's what you can do. Um, excellent. So, si since there was a bit of a banter about. Um, is it you know what what we're going to do? So it's going to be more human key fan games. What we thought might be quite good fun, um, let's shake things up a little bit, um, was to play something else, something both that I, I think we've both at least got, which is a good start. Um, so we'll we'll see how that works out. We might play some human key fan games at some point, but we're gonna we'll, we'll see how we get on. Um, I've I've tried my best to be prepared for this, and 
no doubt that will fall over anyway. But I thought I thought I would point out something that I thought that you might find quite interesting, Lane, because I was uh, I don't know if you've been looking at the Dream Diary Jam four page, uh, the submissions. Uh, no, I haven't. I, I will show you because it is um, kind of interesting if I can figure out how to work my computer. So there's, amazingly, there's there's five games already submitted, right, to the gem. Bear in mind, this is only like week two, right? right. Um, and we've got five games here. We've got Rukunu, Hill Climb Racing plus Game Maker Source. Oblivion 0.01, which I think is actually a, a fan game, Mayday, and Alien Flowers. Now, the thing that immediately strikes me about the games that are on here is I think of all of them, at most, two of them are actually Dream Diary games. I mean, there might be a clue in the name of Hill Climb Racing that it is perhaps not the dreamiest experience ever. Let's have, let's have a quick look at this. Here we go. My, I mean, my favorite, I don't know about you, Lane, but my favorite Yuminiki fan games are the, the racing ones. Oh, true. It has the source code. That's why I like it. <laughs> it's a diverse subgenre of uh, Dream Diary-esque games to have racing. I mean, we had we had Yumi Kart, the blockbuster success that it was. Um, unlock and upgrade strange vehicles. See, that's why it's a Yuminiki fan game. It's got strange vehicles in it. So you, there are you, effects. You drop, you drop, you drop the strange vehicles in it, and it's a unique fan game. Fantastic! I love it. What kind of fan game is this? Oh, you think that's good? Well, maybe, maybe you want to have a look at uh, Mayday. Mayday looks pretty good. It's a first-person shooter. You know, first-person shooters often a subgenre of um, unique fan games. Not one that I think has been explored that much. I think, I think there was a few Portuguese unique first-person shooters, but. You know, it's 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 got quite a cult following, you know. Well, it's good. I like all the checkerboard. That's why. You see, that's why that's Yuminiki because it's got checkerboard textures everywhere. It's like the, it's true. like it's like the checkerboard tile path. You know, just it's just like a first-person shooter version of that. You get to. So shoot. this is Mayday. It's so true. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why these are here. I think what happens is people on um, people like see jams on itch.io and think. Oh yeah, I don't know what that's about, but I'll submit my game to it anyway because that will give it some publicity. People yeah, like people it. will just submit their game to a jam. Like I've seen um, on the last jam, there was a game that was submitted early, and it was a game that somebody used a tutorial that I used when I went to um, college and took a game programming course. It was the same <laughs> tutorial, so fantastic. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how these itch.io things work. I'm I'm really just here for the the fan games, so. Um, I suppose this doesn't really help me very much, not unless I want to get into hill climb racing. And plus source code, of course. Um, right, great. So um, I need to actually start up Deep Rock Galactic then, I suppose. Uh, and what we can do then is we can start a video game. Yep. I might have to turn it down a bit because it's fucking loud. Holy shit. Down you go, son. Alien Flower is a fan game, but it has no download. Yeah, that's that seems to be the thing with quite a few of these games. They have. I think people have, like, planted their flag on the thing saying, I'm putting my fan game here. And then they're going to fill in the blanks later. They probably think they need the page open yeah. already. <laughs> Hill Climb Racing, my, f my personal favourite. Pretty cerebral. Yeah, I bet it is. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, to in case anyone's missed it, so uh, depending on how we get on, if this if this turns out to be a, a bit shit, which it might be, um, we're gonna we're gonna play something which is kind of random, so it fits in with the bingo streams, uh, but isn't a, isn't a Yuminiki fan game in any way at all. Uh, but that's fine because we've got Layton here to provide um, Yuminiki ness. You're gonna you're gonna <laughs> be, you're gonna be the, the Madatsuki um, avatar of the stream. Or the, or the Uritsuki, or the Sabatsuki, whichever one you want to choose from those particular three. Yep. What's your favorite one? You have to pick a favorite. Oh, I'm, I'm just thinking about hill climb racing. <laughs> your favorite, your favorite, um, <laughs> you mean, your favorite uh, Yuminiki protagonist is uh, dream, as, um, 
hill climb racing fantastic it'll uh, be on the wiki by the end of the week it, pro- it probably will <laughs> next next is here Next is probably taking down notes thinking, oh i better put a page up about this uh i'm just gonna quickly do that uh and i'll need to check that the volume is okay this shows how prepared i am for everything the fact that i haven't checked these things in advance we're gonna click that button Another die, another dime. Okay, good. Thank, thank you for that. How loud is that? It's a bit quiet. Let's turn that up a wee bit. That sounds good. Right. Okay. Excellent. Right. And then if we do this, and then this, and then this. Excellent. Okay. Right. Fine. Okay. So I, this this is gonna this is gonna be an experience. I can just tell already. This is this is gonna be crazy I'm, I'm mental um right i i'm going to in fact before i do that i'm gonna just quickly go in here and press this button and do that right good okay fantastic why is that oh it doesn't matter it doesn't matter i'm sure how are you um how are you fixing for the jam at the moment, Lynn? Uh not really doing anything. We I had a plan, but it was like a group thing and it didn't work out. Okay. So I didn't have anything to fall back on. So are you is are you are you exiting the jam or are you just um let's get a drink. Come on, you have to you, you can oh, have yeah. a virtual drink, sure. If you don't drink, you can have a virtual drink. Let's see, Coca Cola. Uh um, I'll take this one, I guess. From last night, Lloyd. Another wormhole. Yeah, I'm just skipping this jam because I don't really have anything to do for it. It's working so, on Mondo and it's not really eligible. Why not? Uh, you can do past games now if you haven't worked on the game a lot outside the jam. But See, because I've worked on it so much, it's... To to the to danger. So you have... Because you, I, I, I was checking out, you have updated it since the, um, since the jam... Um, because it was Dream Dryer Jam three, wasn't it? Last jam, I did release an update with the jam. I've never actually done this. I've never had this drink before. It's very exciting. Sometimes it just teleports you into the drop on. <laughs> oh, I'm never gonna get used you know, to this. Excellent. Really um. Okay. Right. So uh, I I. I don't know if you have any particular missions that you want to do. I uh, I mean, we could do the weekly core hunt if you haven't yeah, done that. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, weekly core hunt. Why not? Where is it? You're... Let me just... Oh, hang on. I need to abandon this one. Shut up. D -d 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 core hunt. Done. Right, good. Um, nice. Okay, so you are engineer fantastic and we can click on that how how are you for hazard levels i can do whatever so five then <laughs> i mean well, well let's let's maybe not that's that's maybe yeah let's yeah because if we want to explain the game a little bit, <laughs> maybe a bit. Time to... well, I've, I've done a little bit of content on um Deep Rock galactic before but i don't think i've even done a level five mission uh it, it's good fun it is really good fun how do you have more skill than me? I have more skill than everybody. Uh, I'm just gonna turn it down just, just a smidge because I get the feeling that when we actually get in there, it's gonna get kind of loud. Okay, excellent. Right, good. Uh, hang on, before we do that. Yeah, fine, great. Right, go, 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 go. I'm a bit surprised, to be honest. I mean, if Blimmin' um, Hill Cart Racing can get into the jam, I mean, I'm sure that Fort would be over the moon to yeah, see. Yeah, I don't know how they did it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could probably get it in if I wanted to. I mean, I know the, you know, the host, and I've been a mod. But I just, you know, I don't really see a point in submitting it with the jam games if it doesn't really fit. Yeah. It's not like I really need the exposure anyway, right? I guess not. The game's been around. I, I guess not, but, you know, I suppose there's... there's Possibly people like, well, not like myself, because I, you know, I, I, I career Yuminiki fan games, but um, 
there are going to be people, I guess, who will be exposed to the wealth of the, the games via um, the jam, right? It's going to bring people into it. Now, you're in the, you're in the States, right? Yeah. Okay, well, I apologize in advance if this is, if this is laggy. Oh, Jesus. That was exciting. Um, hopefully it's not. I mean, I think I've got a pretty good internet connection. <laughs> we'll see. I've never played this online without my group, so I don't know how it is. I, I've played on American servers before and it's been fine. I think it, it depends much more on the internet quality of the person who's hosting it. Right. Um, I suppose we're going to find that out quite quickly there. So, what do you what do you do, Leighton? Out of interest, if you don't mind me asking. I uh, was a college student, graduated, and now I'm not really doing anything at the moment. Working on Mandel No Yumi. Yeah, it's a full time job in a cell. You cheeky cunts, go here. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna try and find a quiet moment, and then I'm gonna have some, I'm gonna have some alcohol. I hope you don't mind that I do. Uh, since there's no drinking conditions at the moment, I mean, uh, if you're drinking along at home, by all means feel free to just down the bottle. No, don't do that. Just, just drink moderately. I'm, I'm probably going to try and... Well, I suspect if we die, that'll be a good opportunity to <laughs> to get drunk. And there's a good chance we will drop. We will die. Probably, yeah. I almost did already. So, the thing which... The thing which is, I'm finding a bit of a challenge, which I didn't find so much last week, and this happened before, in fairness, when I did the Dream Diary Jam 2. Oh shit. Um, if you remember all those years ago, the Dream Diary Jam 2, um, yeah. trying to balance that around work. So, like, spending the day coding and, well, like, today I, I, I worked later than I definitely would have liked to. And then, like, I've, I've done so little this week on, on the game, other than just little bits and bobs. And I'm finding that really annoying. Like, I, I keep getting through the day and thinking, you lazy arse, you haven't flipping done anything. Human Nikki fan games are really deceptive about how much work they need. Like, on the surface, you think, oh, it's not going to be that much, but then you start and it's a lot. <laughs> yeah, I, I think the half the challenge is having enough. Um, ideas that you can flesh out okay. um, within the time frame that you've got you know and yeah. this is one of the things that I've been trying trying to do just stress I've been trying to do it um, it ends in 30 days yeah I know but I don't like looking at that because you look at you look at times like that this is what I was saying to Brid last week you look at how much time you've got left and you think oh yeah I've got loads of time you, you kind of don't really. <laughs> the more the more you think I've got loads of time, the more likely you are to just bloody procrastinate. Where are you hiding? Oh. I'm just getting a court. <laughs> are you over there? I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna come in. I am over here. Flares up. Beautiful. Look at her go. I hear Betsy. Ah, uh, yeah, I do too. Fantastic. Uh, yeah. So the on on the the gem. Um, I'm out. Oh shit! I'm out. I'm out of ammo already. What? Bloody shotgun. Um, I don't know. I mean, what I've been trying. What I've been aspiring to do is not because you know being being a sort of programmery type it's very easy for me to get lost in the code of it same do you what as in like you get lost in it or you or the code of it or a specific element of it uh it's more of like i get really uh focused on functional things and i don't spend enough time like designing the worlds and doing all that i just sit on a menu I get the menu working, and then I feel like, well, I can improve it. I can increment on it, and then 
Next thing I know, I've worked on the menu all day when I didn't need to. It's because I feel like that's the most fun part, is working on menus and working in the scripting rather than trying to draw something. Yeah. You said, you, so you mentioned something about a, a, potentially having a team project? Yeah, that's what I was hoping would happen because then I wouldn't have to work on the art. I could just focus on uh, the scripting and the eventing. Yeah, I mean, that, that sounds like the dream, really. Yeah. Um, although, in fairness, a few, a few very kind people actually came forward in the, the Discord and were like, I can help with um, doing sprites and stuff like that, but the thing is, the, the idea that I've got is, is so unusual that I don't think I can realistically sort of draft um, people in that easily. Uh, uh, I would say same, because with Mondo in particular, like a lot of the files are structured in specific ways. Because just for Mondo being able to have multiple effects on at the same time, the effect file, it's just one file and then it's a layer and it's got like certain elements in certain places and I mean, uh, somebody doing art would be able to figure it out, but it would be more difficult than just saying, hey, you know, do what you usually do. Better than five. I'd have to be involved a lot more. Oh, shit. I'm going to help. Uh, where are you? Oh, you're there. I'm right here. Can you, can yeah. you fire a platform up there? Uh, yeah. What a guy. Oh, shit. Oh, no, come on. Ow. <laughs> Something good start. I nearly had that as well. My bloody grapple recharged right before I hit the floor. Thank you. This is what happens when um, this is this is why you've got the right approach, not drinking. I've only had a shot, and I'm already making a complete arse of this. My platform has the perk for the fall damage, so you can try to land on that. Excellent. All right. I have no ammo as well. I, I need to sort that. Uh... Yeah, you're getting the nitro. I thought it was a, I thought it was a brood nexus over here, but it was just rock. Out of ammo! Damn, it's a menace! Kill it! Just the act of me pointing at that guy is, is apparently angered him so much. Angered him so much that he's now focusing me. Fudge, fudge, failing in my bingo. Yeah, I know it's it's unheard of, right? Getting more ammo. Um, yeah, what I was what I was saying is what I've been trying to do is just like get as much like area and actual stuff to interact with down as much as possible, even if it's full of like placeholder assets and stuff. Yeah. So that it it has some substance to it, and then I can um, more effectively use my time to uh, do creative stuff, which is definitely not my strong suit. Uh, strong suit. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if you remember Mondo 1, but <laughs> definitely wasn't a well-looking game. Oh, come back. Jesus Christ. Fucking football. Flung that bloody ball in. Flying for miles. Um, yeah, but do you know what? If, if the the, uh, the poll on the Uniki Fangbeam's wiki is anything to go by, uh, you know, people people don't care about that. Just give them, just give them environments. Just give them an area to run around in, and they'll be as happy as Larry. Doesn't even need to have any graphics in it. Just make it a text adventure. Yeah, that's that's why I've been focusing on things like weather effects to try to give that atmosphere rather than good pixel art. I think that's been working out for me. How's your 3D modeling? You ever done that? A little bit in that class I was talking about, but not very much. I downloaded Blender the other day. <laughs> yeah, I remember using Blender. Uh, and it was uh, quite terrifying, <laughs> actually. It is, yeah, for someone who hasn't used it before. It definitely is. But you can use you can use Blender for doing sprites and stuff, can't you? Uh, I never have, but I imagine you could. I've have you ever heard of this um, tool called Magica Voxel? I think I've heard of it, but I don't know what it is. 
it's quite it's quite cool. It's like a voxel modeling tool. Um, and what? Well, because I'm a I'm a simpleton. I can actually put stuff together in it quite quickly. Um, but you know, I, I mean, I, I, the thing is, I, I feel like I can actually conceptualize things in 3D better than I can try and draw. Cause I can't draw for shit. Dude. What the fuck? Get out of here! Gets. Ain't no hiding from me, Got him. Got him. I really like the new music that they've added in this. Yeah. I usually have the music off because it just got old after a while, but then I had to turn it back on. And I was told there was new music. Excellent. It shouldn't be a surprise to anyone who's played my game, but I usually play fan games with the music off. Really? Yeah. That's funny because I, I always harp on about that. Like, I mean, I always find that mu like good music, I should say, is like half the experience of a Unity fan game. I mean, even the original. I just, I don't know. I, I like playing with the sound off sometimes. I don't know what it is. I would take no music over like badly looping or really annoying music, but good music. I mean, you know, when a, when a, a game has good music, like some of the airs in Yumi Tiki have really nice music, and some of the airs in Yumi Tiki have really crap music. It's like two of quirks right here. <laughs> Jackpot. Yeah. Hang on a second, let me just move that out of the way. What's going on? Again, fuck's sake. Oh, you didn't. Oh, it, it fell. The bloody crystal fell down probably the deepest hole it could probably find. Oh, you could argue that I threw it down there. Oh, no! Come back! Right, good. Okay. How are we doing for bullets? I've got six shotgun shells. I'm gonna come down there and get a resupply. That's fine. The, the situation's under control. There's nothing to worry about. Yeah, yeah no problem. He really has a cozy job. Uh, right. I need to start finding these blooming uh, fossils, don't I? That's, oh yeah. <laughs> that's that's why I'm here after all. Oh, shit. Fossils are a kind of a bane. I don't know what it's about fossils in particular, but I think it's the, the other when, ones seem easier to find. Yeah, I think it's when the map gets seeded they just tend to get hidden or put in really annoying positions. <laughs> Good. Okay, one minor calamity taken care of. Oops. That's what to do when you're low on ammo. Fire your gun for no reason. Ah, I, I see one of these cheeky fuckers. He's up there. Do you need a platform? Yes, please. Get out of here! Is that good? Yeah, I'm, I might go there now actually. It's, it sucks down here. I'm getting killed. <laughs> hey! Oh, come on. You never got around to that bat seat. <laughs> That's fine. I, I, I'm happy just letting it be. be <laughs> yeah, it's true. We may not have a choice. I, 
I wouldn't be surprised if when the extraction pod comes in that it's like go go via the Betsy. But that's fine. Then we, then we can just bring it with us. We'll bring it into the pods and it will be will be very happy. Right. God, we've still got millions of these bloody fossils to go. I need to open my eyes and stop dicking around. This is important. Fossils, so you can get like an extra flipping hundred credits or whatever it is. I mean, this does need to be worth my time. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, let me get the beer thing. There we go. Right, that was that was definitely worth nearly dying. Getting bloody beer. Oh my god. Well done. You got them all. Get the launch controls to return the minehead. We'll send in the escape pod. Yeah. Did you call in Anyone? another pod? Uh, no, I did not. All right. I to I'll, yeah. Anyone in chat uh, participating in the GM? I haven't been checking the Discord lately. Uh, well, our, our illustrious Brood is, of course. Um, I don't know if Brood's here, but um, there's a few. Actually, there's quite a few little. There's quite a few dreamers. Much, um, probably much more talented than myself. Right, okay. I've got, I've got ammo now, which is a good start. Serious, serious faced moment killing the bugs. Uh, boss, I see you there. I'm gonna get it. Excellent. Middens. Oh god, that takes me back. Have you ever played Middens, Lane? No, I haven't. I've heard of it, but I've never played it. I, I keep so the, the the guy or the the developer of Middens um, made a few different games, and apparently they're all as bizarre and. I don't know if it's right to say they're psychedelic, but I mean, it's it's very peculiar experience. Um, it's a bit like you you must be aware of Space Funeral. Yeah. It's a bit like Space Funeral if it was played straight and just full of really. Uh, it's just strange, but it, it's it's quite fun. I never finished it though. It's the thing is, it seems to just go on. Forever and ever and ever, and the, the the probably the flaw with it is that the combat mechanics in it are very repetitive. It's just like the same old things over and over. I was gonna get that. I like it up here. It's nice. Can you not? Thank you. Right. Uh, okay. Can I get that without dying? I think Um, and there was other games made by the same person that I never, I never actually tried, but... Um, yeah, Mid Middens is worth trying, I think, probably for like... an hour or so. And then probably not playing it much further than that, because... It does get really repetitive. Um, that so there was there was a game that we played from one of the I think it was the first Dream Diary Jam. The name of which eludes me at the moment, and it had like it was like two D, and it was all like sort of Victorian art. I uh, yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. I don't remember the name. Yeah, that's that's kind of what like Middens is styled a bit like. Anyway, yeah. It, it, I played that years ago, and then I just kind of kind of stopped playing it. And then I got contacted by loads of people saying, "Are you going to finish middens?" I'm like, "Nah, nah, I'm not actually. I got I got two kids to play. Sorry." And now people now are like, 
Are you gonna finish Jimmy Tiki? I'm like, nah, it's, um, I mean, can you finish it? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I suppose 100% wallpapers, 100% um, endings is kind of finished, right? I don't think I'm ever gonna get that, mind you. Have you ever seen the requirements for getting some of those wallpapers in Jimmy Tiki? Um, I know there's a lot of them, but I haven't looked through it. And uh... some of them are flipping ridiculous. I think you have to have like dreamt something like was it 300 times or something like that. It doesn't sound like that much, but I'm sure even in the playthrough that I'm doing now, which has obviously gone through for a while. Um, Die, monsters! How am I out of ammo again? Uh, load. Get out of there! No. Hey. Uh oh. I don't know why I bothered digging there actually. That was silly. Holy shit. Um, I was gonna suggest drink every time I die, and I did actually die already, so that's oh, that's a free shot. Oh shit. <laughs> This seems like a much bigger swarm than the last one, holy shit. Yeah. Excellent. Problem solved. Ow. Do you like that, um... What's it called? The the engineer alternate secondary. The breach cutter. Breach yeah. cutter. That's what it's called. I didn't like it when I got it, but then a patch buffed it. And it's too good not to use. It doesn't have quite the same satisfying factor as the grenade launcher, but it does True. seem to be the more powerful one. It definitely is. It can shred dreadnoughts. It's too good. I'm sure it'll get a nerf next patch, but. I found that the um, the electric, the SMG that you can get as well on the engineer is quite yeah. potent now. Always was about using too. I used the SMG before it was buffed. I just liked using it before it was cool. Yeah. Um. Right. Okay. Okay. Right. 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 Fossils. Got to focus. I'm gonna go to the other bit of the level. I'm getting bored of this bit. Drink when Fudge gets minerals. That seems that seems like a good idea. There's there's a lot of minerals though. So, um, and for anyone who's interested, I am drinking uh, the whiskey that we had last week. Oops. Oh no. Jump! Oh, great. Landed it. Sickest. I found the Betsy, by the way. Oh. No, not as well. I mean, if you want to. Um, I, I'd rather not with my 95 bullets. <laughs> I might need to get some ammo before we. We have enough now. for another. Right, I'm, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just do it. Shouldn't have done that when my shields are charging. <sighs> Whoops. That's a shot. I'm having a shot for that. I can hear something making a funny sound. It's probably not on my end. No, not like in the game. I mean, it's like can you, before I kill myself again. Can you, can you put a platform under that? Nice. Oh no. Help! 
That platform didn't work very well. <laughs> oh no. I hope you're enjoying carrying me through this. Oh no, it's good. <laughs> this is fine. This is what scouts do in, in Deep Rock. You you just um, fling yourself to your death repeatedly. Can I actually get up there? Just just don't don't go too far because I, I suspect this is going to lead to my death. Oh Jesus! <laughs> oh, I can't move. Oh, there we go. Right. Okay. Good. You have enemies coming on you right now. I'm not letting anybody come on me. Here we go. I'm too fast for these clones. That's it. That's cool. Come here, on. yeah, we fall. Ah! Fossil. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Lloyd is up! Oh, I need that. I need that really badly. No, don't. Come on, game, please. Oh, no. I need to get the fossil. How many do you have? I have three. I just need one more of them. I found it. I got it. I got the fossil. Right. Okay. I, I'm, I've also got... I've got a few monsters following me. Yeah. I've got I got one clip of ammo and that's it. It'll be fine. I don't know why you're so worried. It's 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 gonna be fine, look. Just gonna put these in here. All the sentries have run out of ammo. Yeah, I've never seen that. I was like, where are they? <laughs> yeah, if you play on hazard five they run out of ammo. Uh -huh. Pretty damn quickly. Speaking of running out of ammo. It's fine, it's fine. I've got no ammo. There's a million monsters. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. I just need to, just need to kite them. That's what they say in the MMOs, isn't it? You just gotta kite them, innit? I don't oh know if you've noticed, God. but there's a lot of enemies. Yeah. I'd be shooting them, but I haven't got any bullets, so I'm just, I'm just sort of, we're just going for a little tour. What I'm gonna do, in fact, an even better idea than that, is this. Resupply ordered. Stand back. Supply pod inbound. Caterpillars. Loot. Loot. Hmm? I don't know. The official sure has said loot. I don't really have much context to that. So. Uh, are caterpillars cute? Right. It seems to be throwing quite a lot of um, slashers at us. Yeah, I noticed that. I didn't realize it was Hazard Five until you said it. It's not. It, no, it, should, it isn't. Is it? Is it? No, it's four. It's four. Okay, that's we'll what do, I thought. We'll do five nights. Don't worry. Since since you <laughs> since you're so interested in it, we'll try it, and we can be prepared to Maybe. die in like. No time at all. I'm gonna push the button. Are, Go for are, it. Are you are you happy with that decision? I yeah. See. I love pressing the button. It's my favorite bit in the whole game. We're really lucky it's volatile guts. <laughs> Be pretty bad if it wasn't. Bye. So, um, do you think that even without the, I guess, the um, impetus to do so, that you might 
produce a new build of um, your fan game during the confines of the jam anyway? Uh, I was trying to do that for today just so we had that option, but I wasn't able to get it done. So I'd like to, before the jam ends, get something out. What I was planning to do was to get a kind of demo out and then incrementally update it over time. So and instead of having a big update, each update would be like one new world and, you know, an event or something. Well, I mean, that that's the dream scenario, really. But yeah. Two, I suppose there's two good, two good, two, I can speak probably two good things there. That your game is, I guess, stable enough that you can do those sort of incremental things. A bit like what happens with Tuki and um, even Yumi Nikki, I guess, when it came out. Um, and you can just sort of add to it in bits. You know, it's not like you've got this huge task of trying to tie together a whole game. Um, and then, you know, having the drive to keep working on it is probably a lot easier to manage. You know, it's not like, again, it's not like you've got this Herculean task in front of you of trying to trying to make it look good for the jammers. Gotta look good for the jammers. On the way. Hang in there. I haven't interacted with the, the jam community much this year. Honestly, me neither. Despite being a mod there before, I haven't really been that active. I mean, they're all lovely. There's no reason for that other than that. I'm like a career lurker. Yeah, you know. Oh, uh, uh, it's not so bad. Okay, I guess we can completely ignore the Betsy then. I'm nearly out of ammo again. Why is the door on that side? Oh. Oh, never mind. I, I misunderstood what was happening. That was easy. That was easy. I yeah, didn't die at all. No problems. Yeah. Sixteen people. YouTube is lagged. Um, who's using your mask even in your house? Are there no fan games today? Fan games are closed today. Everyone was protesting about it. So yeah. Well, that's not true. Not everybody was protesting about it. There are a few people. You know who you are. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, the, the thing is, Leo, the, the, the Yuminiki fan games wiki is like a finite resource as well. I imagine if we just tanned it for like a couple of weeks, that probably be them all gone. I mean, I'm just glad that we got to play um, Eter, Eter, Eternus. Are you familiar with that at all? Um, I'm just glad we got to play that. I really enjoyed that. Uh, I hate breathing in t into my own face. What? What are you talking about, Doctor Rod? Breathing into your own face. I think Chad has been drinking every time you die. Yeah, I, I'm probably just sure I might do that right now. Um, it sounds like it. <laughs> it sounds like it. Um, yeah, well, this is the last of the whiskey. It's going to be a big one. Haven't you played all about all the fan games at this point? Have I played all the fan games? Um, I mean, that would be a that would be an achievement. I'd be very pleased to have um, sort of under my cap. But uh, I think from Argon's lovely spreadsheet, it, there's like maybe th thirty. I, I say th well, it's not thirty. There's probably like fifty fan games left to play on the wiki that I haven't played. Um, so if it has a wiki page. Right. I, I think it works out something between seventy and eighty percent of the games on the wiki have been played. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go someone else this time. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Gunner. Show me what I yeah. Shoot. yeah. Look at him there. Does that Guns take into there. account updates to games or just no, no? Ar Argon again, Argon, the, the absolute legend, um, has gone through and indicated if the game has been updated or not since I last played it. So there probably is an exercise there and going back and finding the games that... Um, did I select the mission? I didn't, did I? What an idiot. Uh, do we want to try lethal? Yeah, we do want to... Yeah, come on, we can do it once. We can do it once. Why not, right? It's Christmas. Dreadnought mission. On, on an elimination as well. Uh... 
Yeah, we want pickaxe power attack. That sounds brilliant. Yeah, Argon's got the stats. Argon's got the mo he's bringing the business out. Uh, 75 remaining. I've played 77% of the games on the wiki. Although, cheers. Um, now that is real music. You boys better be better miners than you are dancers. In saying that. Oh, I love this game so much. Um, the in saying that, as I I discovered today actually, because you know those games that I was pointing out at the start on the jam page, yeah, and how not Yuminiki fan games there are. Well, I was looking about, and the thing is, I reckon people on itch.io are making Yuminiki fan games completely separate from the Dream Diary community, if you will, and completely separate from the wiki and all of that. They're just making these games, and I imagine for the most part they're going. Maybe they get played by people who are on itch and come across them, or perhaps by people who follow the person, but I don't think they connect to the community. Yeah, you know? I mean, my understanding with the wiki is that if the developer says that it's a fan game, it can go on the wiki. So, as long as they're saying that it is a fan game... If the developer says it's a fan game, it can go on the wiki. That's my understanding. So, I mean, if they're making like a Yuminiki-like game, but they don't say that it's a Yuminiki fan game, and it's not obviously a Yuminiki fan game, then I guess it could be skipped over. I don't know, from what I've seen, I think the wiki is pretty comprehensive. It's good. It's, uh, we have um, Nex and Co. To, to thank for that, I believe. Um, it's good. It is good. Can't fault it. Um, not enough Portuguese fan games, though. Well, yeah, I imagine like some communities there might be for different languages and everything that the wiki might not cover. Just because we don't have somebody connected to the wiki that can bring those in. I'm full. We're falling. The undiscovered country of the Scottish Yuminiki fan games. Yumi, you wee bastard. That's all you got, you don't anybody shit. steal that name. That's That's... Possibly going to be the name of my Dream Diary 4 entry. That translates to Dream, you small bastard. Yeah. <laughs> I hear some bullshit. I hear them down there. Yeah. They're there. What are we meant to be doing? Hollow Oh, you nearly got it all already. Oh, just... have I? Oh, yeah, it's, it's Holomite. <laughs> Jesus. Huh. Oh, a battery. Oh, look at that. A battery. How lucky we are. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Right. Now, where does this battery want to go? I uh... don't know. Not in this pit, I imagine, because it looks like there's jack shit down here. Can I... Can I just sling a wee cheeky thing up there? That doesn't look like it. Right, hang on, we'll do a bit of parkour. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, you've got two of them. Well, the bar surely oh, yeah. the, the thing, the chest can't be that far, right? It's probably right up here somewhere. Come here, it's right here. chest. Oh, cracking. Right, good. Huh. Go. Brilliant. Oh, yeah. Of course, when the first charge of monsters comes we're gonna get fucking slaughtered. I can, yep. I can just sense it. So we might as well get the battery out of the way right now. Um, ah, it's up there. Slowly but surely. Delicately. Such a such a delicate thing, a battery. I have a fan game titled Mam Mamu uh, made by the devil of physicality. It's not on the wiki. 
Uh oh. I hear a lot of bullshit. I do like it when a battery goes in. Yep. Beautiful. Skin acquired neon band. Fantastic. I think that's possibly one of my favorites, although the skins have diversified a lot, haven't they? Um, uh, yeah. Uh, right, okay, well, now that this, now that we've got past, I guess, the first pit, <laughs> we'll probably need to find something else to do. Where are these bloody dreadnoughts? Oh, they're the complete opposite way, that's why. I, got the deposit. I was thinking, why are we not hearing any ominous heartbeats or anything like that? It's because we are in We had to get the Xenor Pearl. What? We had to get the Xenor Pearl, so. Yeah, 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 that's, that's right, yeah. I don't know why, but it reminds me of Lego games when all the studs er erupt from an object. Yes. Yeah. Um, Fudge is also not on the wiki. Uh, somebody did make a wiki page for um, Night Shift, didn't they? I'm sure somebody said they did. Somebody's some something incredible. I think a, a Japanese artist um, drew the protagonist from um, Night Shift. I don't, know if, I don't know if you saw that, um, Leighton, but no. somebody made me aware of this, but some, somebody, some absolute champion went through, I guess, all the games on the Yuminiki Fan Games wiki. Oh, I remember this, yeah. Took, took the art of the protagonist and drew a little sprite of them. Yeah. I was like, that's mental. Like... I think Manda had like 50 of them on there because of all the combinations. <laughs> Imagine they just took an entire day to do those. I can't even wrap my head around it, like trying to do that. It just it just sounds mental. I can't I can't even fathom it, it just sounds crazy. Um hats off, certainly. Probably managed to put together a better sprite than I ever could. Hey no, stop that. Have you played much of the Gunner? Uh, no, not really. I quite like the Gunner. The thing is, it's, it's nice quite, having a Gunner in the party. It's quite um, it's quite simple gameplay. You know, it's like it's like a home cooked meal. It's quite it's quite simple, but well, not necessarily. Maybe you're an artisan chef, uh, Lane. I don't know. Are you? No, be. Probably not. No. Ah, good. You said, uh, well, you you were recently a student, right? So that sounds to me like instant noodles and um. Late nights. Probably not artisan chef, but I, I don't know. Maybe. I have a degree in microwave usage. <laughs> Are you both playing the same class? No, Doctor. I am. I am playing uh, the gunner, who is the the guns of the operation, and uh, Lathan is playing the engineer. Who? How would you describe the engineer? Uh, you know. Uh, useful. He, I mean, I have a turret that can cover, so we have like a third person kind of, in a way. There he is. Isn't he beautiful? Um, I guess, I guess we should probably um do the thing. How are you for ammo? Uh, I think it's enough. Okay. I am a bit conscious that between us, we're probably not actually that. Right, well, let's do it. We've made it this far. How much worse could it get? Oh, he's going for you. Oh, no. No. No, he's not going not for you. I'm going to hit you with my lasers. Oh, Jesus. Wow, I'm slow. I forget how slow the bloody gunner is.
Where's he going? Oh, he got me. Oh, shit. Oh, that's not good, is it? Um. Okay, run, run, run. An iron will, I just don't think there's any healing. No, it's fine, I, I got you. I got you, man. But time me, I've returned the favor. Uh. Okay. Here you go. Uh oh, watch out. <laughs> uh, I hit one of the pubic hairs that lined the cavern. I was hoping there'd be red sugar down here. Could call the resupply down somewhere. I hear some. He's coming. Send heal otter nose kisses. We need all the not the otter nose kisses we can get. The notter ooze kisses. I think we better just get him somewhere with a bit more space in it, because trying to fight yeah, him in that's this. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, yeah, trying to fight him in this little corridor is probably the smartest. Yeah. Oh shit. Probably not at the the best place. What is that? Glyphid cooking. Oh, it looks really different. Does that? Does that look? Oh, it's the one that we broke. What am I talking about? Yeah, it's all we broke. Yeah. I was like, I could, I'm just a bit puzzled that we went in a full circle. Where's he gone? He's probably digging. He's mining to us. Oh, there he is. Hello, friend. Right. Okay. You do that. I'll do the gun. Got a breach cutter, so we have to. There you go. It's fine. See, Breach Carter shreds them. <laughs> I had to use all my ammo, but... Nicely done, team. You secured yourself a nice bonus. Easy. Easy. See, what what were you worried about? Hazard 5 is easy, isn't it? It's just... Yeah, yeah, no problem. It's just, um, like, it's just like a walk in the for round two. Ah. Where is the other one? Oh, God. That's... This one? Or I guess we want to go... Up there. Backtracking. Hopefully the quality of this is alright. I always find that um, YouTube has a, a tendency to munch any games that have a lot of, well, a lot of motion in them. Do you, do you ever do any streaming or anything like that? Or? Uh, no, not really. That's what it's overrated. There's no, there's no, there's no joy to be found in streaming. It's just, uh, it's just people complaining. I did let's plays once. They were pretty embarrassing. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I can. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> I can, um, I can attest to to that, having done embarrassing let's plays. It's fine. I, I've, I've just careered it. Just power on. Just hope people don't go too far back in your video history. Just just keep releasing more videos and then Yeah, yeah, and then no one will find it, yeah. People will never find it. <laughs> so that's the whole strategy with the series is Yeah, exactly. So, well, yeah. Well I, I do think back to like the period of time between like um was it episode sixteen one hundred of Let's Play Yumi Tiki, where I had just got the microphone that I'm using now, the the Yeti. Um I couldn't figure out how to get it to work. Well, no, I couldn't figure out how to get it to work. But I had it set on my my desk, and the thing with these um, uh, Yetis is that they are very, very sensitive. So, I mean, if you're on like a, a desk or something, it picks up every little bang. So if you're like clattering a a fast gaming keyboard, then all you hear is just like the clattering and stuff, and I, I just, yeah. I, I couldn't, get, I couldn't figure it out. And my, you know, me with my gamer keyboards, big fan of my mechanical keyboards, meant that I was just really struggling with it. And then I went through a period of like, okay, well, here's an idea. 
what if the microphone isn't on its little stand and you just put it like away from your desk a little bit? I mean, it's a microphone, yeah. right? So it's like a professional microphone. It'll be able to pick it up, right? Where have you gone? You've, you've dug a little a little hole. It's navigating the hell maze. You've confused Molly, that's for sure. Um, so I, I, I had it propped on top of the box that it came in on like a really far corner of my table, which was a dining table. It wasn't even like a desk. And while that was fine, oh shit, for ages, I just sounded incredibly distant and like muffled. So for like probably about 20 videos, perhaps even longer than that, the audio quality was just horrendous. I just powered through it because I didn't really know what to do to sort it. And it took, it took a long time for me to sort it. The setup now, I have a fucking mic boom. Like an actual... Like I'm a... Like I'm a guitarist or something. I have to... I have to use that to, to avoid it. And now I have the awkward situation of like doing bloody video conferencing calls with my work. And they're like, Oh yeah, nice chair. Oh yeah, nice microphone. I'm like, oh fuck off. I'm like, honestly. <laughs> I don't want to hear this. I keep dropping on my portal memes on you. But suddenly, oh, he's got a gamer chair. He's got a gamer girl chair. And you're talk of the town. Hey. Calm down the resupply, because I'm out. Yeah, I'm running quite low now as well. That's fine. Not as bad as last time. I don't know, the scout just seems to chew through ammo. Okay, I, I shouldn't have said anything because now I have completely out of ammo. Right, let's do that. Oh, yeah, I just use a mod mic and it, it works fine. Nobody complains. Uh oh. I see monsters. Oh god. Run. Run. I have a microphone on my headset actually. I don't I don't use it as much as I perhaps should because I've been trying it out recently in, in some videos and it's definitely not as um it doesn't have the same fidelity. But right. what it does do very well is like noise cancellation. It has some kind of built in noise cancellation, which means that even in a very noisy environment it cuts out all the nonsense. Um, you can barely hear anything. Oh, sorry. I just thought I would shoot you. I just wanted to make sure you yeah, had yeah. like a, a hallucination or something. Right. I tell you I'm not. I felt it. Right. Good. Yeah, like some, some of my work colleagues were like... Oh, you always sound you, like I can never hear. Like, holy shit! I'm sorry, it's just there's a million monsters just piled in there. Um, they're always commenting like, "Oh, we we never hear like weird noise in the background, or like you using your keyboard or anything in meetings." And it's like, I don't know, I didn't think anything of it. Apparently, the headset mic is due more credit. Then I give it. Um, I feel great. I haven't really been paying a huge amount of attention to the chat, in fairness. I've been too engrossed in the bug, the bug, the big yeah. bug hunt. How do you we should probably take care of that nexus before we do this? Yeah. How how do you feel about bunkering? Uh, I mean, it can work, but I think it's a little bit risky. Bunk. I mean, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I heard it. I could hear it coming. You saw it. You saw that I heard it, didn't you? Um, yeah, I always get it by them. So, bunk, bunk, so for, for the non-educated, bunkering in Deep Rock Galactic because it's because it's a bit like Minecraft and it's pretty free form. There's nothing to stop you just like fucking digging a big hole in the dark somewhere advantageous and just hiding in that until whatever monsters have fucked off. You can do that and. Sometimes it works out quite well, and as you might have seen with um, Leighton's engineering help, you can put down a platform and you can plug up holes. So you can literally have a bunker, as you may call it. But yeah, um, I played with a group yesterday, 
and they were hell bent on bunkering and they they did it for one leg of a um you know the recovery one and yeah. it worked fine on the first bit and in the second bit uh uh it, we all died because the monster started spawning in the bunker and yeah. <laughs> it was it was horrendous and they were being so arrogant as well it's like oh i love bunkering bunkering is the best thing ever why don't we just why, why aren't all groups as chill as this we'll just we'll just bunker all the time and i was like you know what you're inviting by doing this right like we're gonna get absolutely trashed um right how are you for bullets are you loaded on bullets? um i think i'm okay to do the dreadnought good this seems like a better um a better arena for it at least uh oh we do have enough for another resupply so yeah we'll we'll take him it's fine we've we'll, we'll got this in fact we might want to call it down and just have it here while we're fighting the dreadnought in case we need it uh, yeah I uh, I don't think that far ahead. It sounds like a good idea to me. <laughs> go, go. So we'll probably need it after the fight anyway to get out. Bullets overrated. I just need my pickaxe. I like the pickaxe skins. I must say. Yeah. Oh Jesus. Ow. I don't know if that was me that killed you, or if it was the enemies that killed you. I um, probably the enemies, because I was hugging them. I was shooting at you. Oh, that could have been it. I don't know. <laughs> you do more friendly You're fire. Not think about it. You do more friendly fire on um, Hazard 5, so... Um, I was I don't... Uh oh. I'm not afraid. See? Easy. Can I tell you something, Leighton? Mm -hmm. I've been wearing pajama bottoms all day. Oh. Does that sound like a strange thing to say, or can you perhaps resonate with that a little bit in whatever state of lockdown you may or may not be? I think be I can in? respect it. Yeah, I was I was in my meetings today, and I, I, I didn't even get dressed. I put a T-shirt on to give the illusion of having got dressed. It's disgusting. What the T-shirt part? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, I would, I'd go, I'd go for less than that. But I think, it, I think there's people who might get a bit excited if I do that. Um, God, don't I sound like I'm a buff, fucking morsel? Instead, they'd probably be like, "Can you please turn your camera off? I'm trying to eat my breakfast and I'm gonna vomit." Um, yeah, I think, I think it's great. I, do you know what? If, if this was the, the status quo for everything, you just stay in pajamas all the time. I don't do that. There's a, there's a girl came to my door. I say girl, a, a woman. A woman came to the door the other day uh, to complain about some banging builders, you see. And right. um, she was she was in her jammies, right? In her pajamas. And she came to the door. Now, I would never do that, right? I, I, the idea of that just, I think, completely abhorrent. Leaving the house in pajamas. I wouldn't even leave the house generally in a pair of, like, fucking joggers. Like, you yeah. know, sweat like sweatpants, I guess you... Uh, I use the, the American term, um, but you know she was in her jammies, and she was like, "Oh, what's this? What's this noise with the builders?" I was like, "It's not me, Hen. It's not me. I'm not doing it." Oh, I think that was me again. <laughs> uh, I've got the blow through rounds on the gun. Uh oh. Okay, I'm gonna do that quickly before I die. This is fine. I'm balancing out with the last round by killing you. Yeah, yeah, it's evening it up. Yeah, <laughs> the monsters killed me. Now I'm killing you. Um, should we should we do this before we get another yeah, fucking rush? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna get some health actually. I just realised I'm kind of dead. Fudge is a buff Chad. I don't know about that. I really don't know about that. So. He's moving very slowly. Is that the? Plasma that's doing that. Oh shit. I shouldn't have said that. Jesus Christ. Oh come on, stop focusing on me, you twat. Come on. Do you remember when the uh, minions could just solo these guys? Yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> they, they didn't really get targeted, did they? No. Well, they got targeted. It would target it, but it wouldn't do any damage to it, and it would just kill it. 
Like you just see the dreadnought fighting the little minion and it would just die. Oh come on, stop running about. Oh, excellent. Nice. My gun was overheated and then I, I missed nearly all four of my revolver shots. Nice. My body is a little strong and very childish. I'm mentally very childish and not really strong at all. Um I actually don't like dress. Yeah. Dressing's overrated. Maybe that's the takeaway from the lockdown. Clothes are overrated. We just all become natural naturalists. Yeah, it's naturalists. What's the, what's the people who care about nature? Naturists. Uh, it's important to distinguish between these two things because one of them it's like people who love animals, and the other one it's like people who run around naked. I'm pretty sure that's naturalists. Pretty sure. Don't know. Any naturalists in the chat who want to confirm? Their, um, way of life, by all means. Um, but yeah, I didn't finish telling you about this. Uh, this uh, she came to the door. She was complaining about the builders. I was like, no, no, it's upstairs. She's like, right then, in a, a storm, goes upstairs. In her jammies, right? In her pajamas. She goes upstairs to go and confront some builders. What? It's terrible. It's, 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 I know, I was shocked. I was going to write into the news, but should we call this pod? Uh, yeah. Yeah. In the drop this has been easy. This is this has not been the Hazard Five that I hoped it was. It would be. Um, it's only easy because I'm here. I mean, could you imagine being, you know, some dozy builder, probably drinking your cup of tea, and a, a, a young woman in her pajamas comes up, asking about banging. I mean, I just—it seems like it's set up to a fucking porno to me. That's, I just can't fathom why you would do that. But hey, I don't know. I don't know this woman. Just put on a suit like the rest of us. To go. To move around within your own building, I suppose. That's, that's maybe a bit excessive. I'm doing well if I put on a human suit, never mind a... Uh... Let's see, um... If we can go up here, I dug down somewhere. This is it, isn't it? It's where all the monsters are. Yeah, look. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. All right, well. The mule's gone up there. It's like, yeah, I'll have that. Speed running. Uh-oh. you have to I, cover me on that one. I hear, I hear bad news. Heads up here. Drop pod departing in T minus four minutes. I don't know where it went. It's gone this way. Over here. I was trying to get the grabber. Oh. Taken down. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, goodbye to that. Are we trapped? No. Nah. No, nah, mate, we got a plan. Look. Mine extraordinaires, we got a plan out here. Do you know, I thought that crystal formation was the drop pod. <laughs> oh, this isn't good. I've, um... Oh god, this is definitely not good. Where I are you? I might be able to get in the... I'm down here. If you can't... Are you in the drop pod? No. <laughs> if you can get in the drop pod, just go. Um... Fact. I'm gonna try and resurrect... Oh, hang on. He's, he's done I'm it. Last willing. Oh, he's down again. Okay. I'm hoping that my thing will recharge and I can get you. Oh, you got quite far away from pod. me. Ah. I'm in the drop pod, if you can get here. Oh shit, I didn't fucking mean to do that. I can't get out of this bloody pit. Ow. Oh, this whole situation is not good. Yeah, I don't I don't think it'll count because I'm... I thought if I was in here, even if I was dead, but... It might oh happen. god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh my god, right, up. I need that. Take the platforms. Yeah, I'm just waiting for my fucking health to recharge a bit. And now I got. Oh my god. Up. Oh. Up. Oh. Yeah, very good. Running. Running. Holy Let's shit. Just go. No! No! Okay. I, I don't know if that counts or not. I don't think it counted as me alive, but it's okay. Had to do what we had to do. Okay, that was the Hazard 5 rear in its head a bit there. <laughs>
Oh, that's a shame. I mean, you were in your you were in your chair. Yeah, yeah. That's the important thing. <laughs> How did that do so much digging? I don't know. I don't believe that for a second. I've spent this Probably whole time. How many bullets you dug into me? <laughs> I spent the whole time talking about pajamas. I mean, how did I manage to dig 336 squares? Did he die? Yeah, he did. Yeah, I died, and then I used my ability to get up temporarily, and I ran into the drop pod and died there. It's a bit weird how that works because um, yeah, I've done it before where you make it in. Uh, well, I've done it before where you um, iron will it into the pod and you still yeah. you still win but, um, but because like you were there you needed you to either die or to get there to finish it you need to be up at the time i guess is the thing yeah. um right how how are you how are you feeling lane um are you I'm feeling good okay do you, do you are you are you enjoying this as a as a medium of banter um i mean yeah. it's not it's, i mean we've got one mission left to go almost seems unfair not to do it but um if you yeah, wanted to take a segue into a fan game if I'll let chat decide because I don't really doesn't matter to me. Ah, oh, they're idiots. They don't fucking know what's going on. Um, I, I, I know, of course, not. They're not idiots. I love them very much. I like my own family. I despise. I don't despise my family. Family's brilliant too. Family, family, and dreamers. There's two things in life you need to keep close to your heart: family and dreamers. Not too close though, because some of those dreamers are fucking mental. Yeah, that's true. Um, I've finished the whiskey, so I'm, I'm now moving on to some Jim Beam. An actual video game. Nice of you to join us. Pure was, Pure was saying in the chat, he's like, uh, I can't make it tonight. It's like, what do you mean? This is the most fun I've had today. <laughs> do, you think, do you think you would have another fan game in you, um, Leighton? Like, uh, to make another fan game? Yeah, like a, like a separate IP, if you will. Uh, I tried to do that for the second jam, but it just didn't work out. I had I, a, mean, I had an idea for Dream Diary Jam 3. Um, which I suppose I can talk about now since it never even got anywhere. I had this idea of making a sort of a semi-joke game. Not a joke, not like, not like fully troll, but yeah. sort of a self-aware game. Which was going to be titled, yeah. um, A Boy Who Only Dreams About Teleporter Mazes. <laughs> Um, Sounds good. And the idea was going to be that everything was just going to be themed, like every dream world was just going to be themed around some kind of teleport fuckery, and that, that all of it would not necessarily be designed to be frustrating, but that it would be, it would it would almost be like a commentary, I guess, on some of the things which always wind me up about Yuminiki fan games. Not to say that teleport mazes are always annoying. Some of them are implemented quite well, like that. Um, there's this French game that I played once, and it livened the whole thing. Livened? Livened the whole thing up by um, making it so that like, every teleporter in the teleporter maze made like a random stupid sound. So you could just, as you were going through this teleporter maze, it was just like making these weird, like, uh oh! Right. Weird noises, and t to my juvenile mind, that's brilliant. That That's like perfect, brilliant. So sim simplistic minds like me can can be amused by just orders from management stop dancing and get to it can be amused by silly sounds i've not seen this dance before that looks really good with my guy he looks like a proper fucking trucker rocker <laughs> this is me when i upload my update from onda <laughs> Brilliant. Right. Okay. What is this? This sounds easy. Egg hunt. Easy. Yeah. Right. I, I'm. I'm. I've changed to the the driller now, just as an act of variety. But I'm kind of tempted not to. I'll be fine. Drillers are good for egg egg hunts. Maybe one okay, day we're, we're gonna... trying to get all the effects, and then we're gonna go to the nexus and place all the eggs. Yeah. You, you know what? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I've, so I've got the driller effect. Um. Maybe one day we're going to see Fudge playing Star Wars Battlefront. That's unlikely. 
I remember playing. Do you remember like? I don't know if you've ever played Battlefront, but I remember like the original Battlefront, where it was essentially just like Battlefield, but with die, Star Wars. I love you guys. I've never played any of them. Nah, I, I've not really been into Star Wars games that much. Um, the only thing I ever did play a lot of was Jedi Knight um, and Dark Forces. That those were some good games. You could have. Because it was, I, I think the, the was it Dark uh, Jedi Knight Two was the Quake Two engine, and you could have like lightsaber battles and like oh Jesus, um, rather poor internet glory, which I'm sure you can imagine was fantastic. I have no idea if that kind of thing was perhaps before or during your time playing. Uh, I don't know. When was it released? Oh, no. um, when was Jedi Knight 2 released? I I have no fucking idea, but it's probably older than Half-Life 2. That's the best point of reference I can think of right now. Yeah, should be fine, I mean. Well, it's, it's definitely around the era of Quake 2. If you recall that. I don't know, I'm always just conscious that I'm sitting here reminiscing of like, oh, do you remember? Do you remember when the TV was black and white? Do you remember when you could go outside? I mean, you'd have to be pretty old to remember that. It's recently, it's 2019. What is, what is um, lockdown, like, where you are, Lane? Uh, I mean, it's pretty okay. I mean, I live in Maryland, so I think we have a competent governor. So does that mean you are still experiencing some degree of lockdown, or you are not? Um, I don't think we have the stay-at-home order right now, but things are still closed. Right. Yeah. I don't know. I, I've kind of gotten used to it. I think I'm gonna find going back to like people saying, "Do you want to go to like the outside?" Probably more jarring than actually going into lockdown itself. This is what happens when you're a born and bred gamer. This is our calling after all, isn't it? Sitting at home playing video games. Cave adaption. That's what I've been calling it. The cave adaption. Some of us have struggled and some of us have prospered. I haven't prospered. Uh, I seem to have ran into about a million fucking enemies. I wouldn't be surprised yeah. if I die. <laughs> Uh oh, that was your turn to shoot me, I guess. Yeah. For the longest time, the I was and I took it. For the longest time, when I was playing the driller, I was doing the foolish thing of firing the flames at the enemies. Little did I know, of course, that you should be firing the flames at the floor. I did not know that. I don't play driller. Because the the thing about the flamethrower is it's sticky flames, and the flames stick to the floor. So you do like more damage to enemies if you if you stick them on the floor. Stick them on the floor. Oh jeez. Can you give me a minute? I'm trying to mine the gold. Um. Oh, Argon. Yeah, I played a lot of the original Dark Forces. So that yeah, that's that's quite different from Jedi Knight in a lot of ways because Jedi Knight was a lot more going on in it. But Dark Forces was brilliant. I mean, I loved that. It's like Doom, but Star Wars. I mean, I, I make this sound like I'm some kind of fucking Star Wars aficionado. I'm not. I don't really, really care about Star Wars at all, to be honest. But um, I do like my sci-fi, but you know, I'm not like I'm not like a turbo, turbo nerd on Star Wars, as I guess what I'm saying. Oh, you had to go and do it. Oh, I've done it now. You've you've awoken the mad at Suki. Somebody was saying on the bloody, uh, the, um, the Dream Diary Jam 4 chat about somebody making a Doom wad for a Dream Diary Jam entry. And, and do you know what? See if I had, if I had the inkling and the time, I would love to do that. Even if it put a smile on one person's face. I think that would be brilliant, making a Doom, a Doom map that's a Dream Diary fan game. 
I've always thought that the jam should be opened up to be more than just games, so it should be art and just anything creative. Yeah. As long I mean, as it's related to Yuminiki in some way or fan games, it should. Yeah, I mean, that's, be a part I mean of it. that sounds like a good idea. Though, how? I mean, is Itch is Itch a forum for that? Really? I mean, Itch is very much about uh, games, isn't it? Yeah, not really, but I mean, I was trying to promote the idea of having the wiki be involved so we could have a wiki page and have everything on it. Oh, you don't want that, that wiki lot involved, there are a bunch of... No, no, they're great. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I, I... I suppose that's good, and that would be good in a lot of ways, because people who don't have the energy or the time to commit to making a whole game, which, you know, I'm sure we can... We can both attest, probably you far more than me, that it's, it's no small undertaking. Unless you have a yep. team. Well, even that doesn't make it any easier. But... I mean, we have a Tumblr, and I'm actually... Uh, I'm in control of the Tumblr now, because... You know, to help out with the jam, so... Oh yeah, Tumblr. I remember Tumblr. I can't remember <laughs> the last time I even looked at Tumblr. To make I haven't fun. posted in a while. <laughs> so... Uritsuki, I am your father. Yeah, that's 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 correct. Actually, um, it's like it's like the Star Wars movies. Yumi Nikki is like um, the. Uh, I thought we'd shoot you again just for good measure. Um, it's like the first movie. Yumi Tuki is like the Empire Strikes Back, and then Dot Flo is like. Revenge of the Sith. I I, I can't. Do you know? What? I'm I'm so fucking out of the, I can't even remember what the bloody names of the films are. There's, there's, see, there's Lego Star Wars one, and then there's Lego Star Wars two, and then there's the. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, the um, the Lego ones come first. I'm sure that's how the canon works. I feel like I'm just running around here. Totally aimlessly, just running into monsters and and trying not to die. I hope that I hope that you're having a better time of it than I am. Yeah, I'm trying to mine this egg, but then I get swarmed. I'm gonna drill. I haven't, I haven't done much drilling. I'm running out of ammo too. I'm gonna call that down. I'm gonna try to get the egg. With get out of here! Are on the way. Hey. There we go. Don't hit me. Ah, power drill to the butt. Ah, work. <laughs> ah. I don't know if you know this, but I'm the one that actually got the random button added to the wiki. Really? Yeah. That was there for a while, and I didn't even know that it was there. But that's because I have the observation skills of something that doesn't have any eyes. Um, I didn't know that. That's that's cool. Um, although I would I would uh, I would just point out that it, um, it doesn't always come back with the best fan games. Sometimes it comes back with um, fan games that are Portuguese. Oh yeah. <laughs> but maybe did you implement it or did you just suggest it? Um, I suggested it, and then the anime didn't know how to add it, so I told them how, and then they added it for me. I went through and fixed it so that non-game pages shouldn't show up as well. I did that a few weeks ago. Oh, did you? Wow. Yeah. I almost feel bad that we're not playing New Miniki fan games now, because we've seen your hard work in action. Um, but I find, I find it quite funny. I mean, I, I find coming across things like character pages and stuff, half the fun of it. Because some of them are quite amusing in their own ways. You know, when there's like a fan game that's... Either it's had like one release where there's like two worlds, or... It's had... It's been deleted, and then there's like a character page which has like... Pages and pages of prose and beautiful fan art. Like, or not even fan art, beautiful art of the character. And yet, you know, the game is, is like a, a shell. Or sometimes they just say really funny things. Sometimes they're not written. They're not written very well. I like, I like, yeah. but you know, making fun of 
things that aren't very well written because I'm a, a bit of a dick like that. Fucking Lord Shakespeare here. Crit critical view on the Protag bios. If their eye colour doesn't match the picture, that's a good one. Everyone loves that one. They have purple eyes. And then show an image of them with their eyes closed. I've never shown Mondo with her eyes open, so it's not really canon that she has open eyes or anything, or an eye color or whatever. But people still, if they do fan art, they have it open eyes. Which is funny to me. I guess they just assume, I mean. I've got the situation under control. There's no need to worry. I'm about to mine an egg here. Oh. Uritsuki will not be pleased. Come on! Sound is actually Uboa. Oh my god, I'm done with these fucking jellyfish. Get a life. Do you not have the perk that, uh... The thorns? thorns. Yeah, I do have thorns. But I'm low on health. I'd rather not let my right. thorns just bounce them all. True. Right, it's fine. It's fine. The, the situation's fine. I don't know why you're worried. It's fine. Um, Madatsuki, she is blind. That is a controversial statement. How do, how do you feel about Mar Madatsuki being blind, Liam? Uh, I mean, There's no real reason to believe that, I guess, but there's no real, like, definitive proof that she isn't. She, she saves her game in a diary. I, well, I imagine that's not impossible for a blind person. It's, it's um... Well, I, I don't know. I don't know about that. It's sound incredibly ignorant. I mean, maybe maybe that is more possible than I give credit. But I would imagine that keeping a diary is a, quite a challenging task for somebody who couldn't see. Unless, of course, we're talking about somebody who's perhaps partially sighted or legally blind. But you know, it's a, it's a full spectrum of things. What a, what an incredible topic to cover. We'll, we'll offend everyone, Lane. We'll talk about how the blind can't write, and then everyone will love us. I mean, I can get behind the fan cannon that Maratsuki is legally blind. <laughs> she may not be able to drive a car, but she can probably write a diary. She can ride a bicycle. I mean, riding a bicycle blind has got to be, if nothing else, quite exciting. Surely. I, I get excited driving a dri driving. I get excited riding a bicycle. No hands. Never mind no eyes. It's even better. What? Sorry, no, I wasn't directed at you. It's the the driller just made an odd remark about killing a um, ruler dude. Uh, I found I found an egg. Did you dig an egg? I can't remember. Uh, that should be the last egg because we have three out of four. Oh, nice. But we haven't got all the Bulu caps. I have six, so we need one more. Ride the bike in her dreams. I guess her bicycle would be motorized. I don't know if it being motorized really helps if you're blind, because that sounds to me like you're just going to run into the obstacles faster. I think a push bike would be a safer thing than a motorbike if you're blind. Surely. <laughs> or maybe no bike at all. I've not heard this bit of music before. That's pretty exciting. Yeah, Where either. are you? I'm over here trying to get this resupply that's on the wall because I need it. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the thing in the molly, uh, okay. and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna come help you. This is like prodigy music. I don't know what music you're hearing if it's synchronized, but it's very like. I probably am hearing the same thing. Yeah. 
Uh, oh, this is a boring rush. What are these guys? Get out of here. No. Ah! Oh, ammo problems. I knew I shouldn't have said this was looking easy. Look at what's befalling us. How terrible. What, a, what an excellent time it would be to be blind. We won't be able to see the fate that lies before us. Dead. Fantastic. Uh oh. Right. Okay. Feels like. Do you need ammo? Uh, uh, yeah, I need a lot of ammo. It's about a nitro right here. Give me all your bullets. There's nitro here. Excellent. Die bug. That's right. Uh, I saw some. There's some down here. Over here. If you if you platform up, I'll we can just project ourselves across. Nitra. I got out, but Jesus was suffering. Madatsuki doesn't have legs. That's why Yuminiki is a walking simulator. That is a hot take. Um, I, I, I mean, I think, I think to be honest, what you should do is you should take these sorts of theories, and there's two ports of call that I think would definitely welcome these sorts of theories. And while I'm talking about this, I'm gonna have a shot. You, you, you're gonna have a, a, a Coca-Cola. Oh yeah. Good. Here we go. Um, so you've got two, two port of calls for your theories. One, you could hit up the Yumi Nikki Wiki, not the Fan Games Wiki. And you could give them your theory. They'll love it, right? They'll eat it up. They'll think this is the best theory ever. The other place you could try your theory out about Maritsuki having no legs <laughs> is you could try it on the Obochen theories area on either Obochen itself or on their Discord. And I'm sure they'll love it. They will probably even have some kind of evidence to support such a theory. So I, re I recommend that you you fill them in on these in these theories, and they will they're, they're like scientists. They'll, they'll be able to tell you what's going on. Uh, should we should we get out of here? Blow this joint? I guess not. Are we going to do this proper driller style, digging a hole uh, to the center of the earth? Might as well. You can't right? do that. I've not done anything useful this whole game. I mean, I might as well do something useful. Uh. Oh, we might not even need to. It's not even that far. It's, it's down here. Drop pod has arrived. Retrieving the mule. Drop pod departing in T minus five minutes. Is it? Let's get out of this uh, kind of. We'll, we'll, we'll drill a bit. You can dig up from here, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll drill a bit. Well, I'm just going to find a, a, a good bit. This looks like a good bit to me. There we go. Oh Jesus! The mule's been successfully retrieved. Make it snap your team. The drop pod won't hang around forever. Capital. Fan games. Fan games is some future prediction like Corona. A virus who everyone touch will be dead, or if they go outside. Maratsuki is locked in the room for her own good. Oh, well, that, do you know what? What? Oh, that was weird. Um, that's an interesting point, actually. Does Yuminiki predict the future by having to do lockdown? Because you're stuck. You're stuck indoors uh, all day. Know. 
I guess so. Do you think we'll have any lockdown themed Yuminiki fan games for the Dream Diary Gem? Oh, probably, yeah. At least one, I'm sure. So I've been taking part in this thing called um, complete. Congratulations. Weekly Beats, uh, where you have to produ produce a piece of music every week for the whole year, right? So 52 bits of music. And um, one of the things I noticed is that as soon as lockdown started to permeate the, I guess, the various parts of the world, suddenly everyone was uploading songs to the um, to the weekly beats, and like the, the the names of the songs started becoming either quite sort of depressing, or they were somehow themed around lockdown. <laughs> So everyone was like, yeah, um, locked in jam, um, feeling blue, these sorts of things. I thought, well, life, life influencing art, art influencing life. I don't know which way around it is, but some people can't go outside. That's what I know. So maybe, maybe you're, maybe you're onto something there. You mean Nikki, the original lockdown simulator. That was it. That was their, tr that was the training room. That was the, tr you mean Nikki was the training room for 2020. That's the revelation that we've got today. Um, yes, indeed. Uh, we seem to have got to 10 to 11 um, doing this yep. nonsense. Uh, I don't know if it's worth starting another one. Not What have we got? We completed all the missions. This is probably as good a point as any to, to draw it to a close, to be honest. Um, I reckon that we've done quite well. We managed to complete all the missions. We didn't fail one. I, we didn't. We, wow. We, we did. almost did, I guess. But yeah, we we didn't very nearly fail the second one. But um, given that we played two of them on Hazard Five, I think we did very fucking well. Um, yeah. So you, do you do play quite a lot of Deep Rock? Um. Like yeah. Uh, I mean, my group likes to pick a game and we just stick to it, and then because they're really picky, so if we can find a game everybody likes, we usually play it as much as we can. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I, I think this game's brilliant. I've, I've harped on about it for quite a while. Um, the only thing I think is a bit of a shame is that for a Steam game, like a Steam indie title, it's kind of expensive. Um, I think it retails about 25 quid in the UK when it's not on sale. Um, which, don't get me wrong, that's still not a lot for a video game. And it's not a lot for a video game that I've got as much enjoyment out of. But I don't know. I think I, I, it seems... I don't know what you think about that. I don't know how much you you got it for, but it, it it does seem expensive. It seems like it's on the more expensive side of indie titles. Yeah, I got it a while ago, but it just came out of early access, so I'm sure it's going to be a little bit, and then it'll go on sale again. Um, Kikiyama engineered the virus Dance confirmed. Monkeys. You know, you're not being paid by the hour. Get to work. Perhaps, perhaps there's something to that, Argon. Mago, Ma, Ma, Mago. Mado went insane and jumped off the building because she couldn't stand quarantine. Why don't you go jump off a ledge, Mado? That's all I've got to say on that matter. I remember there was an alien invasion theory that was popular back in the day to have its own sort of semi animation. Semi animation. Beautiful. Uh, right. Okay. Excellent. So yeah, D Deep Rock Galactic, everybody. Um, we've, we've played that for two hours. I, I I had a blast. I hope you had fun playing. Yeah. It's pretty good. You got to take a break from fan games, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Well, in fairness, I've got to be honest with you. I, I I kind of alluded to this early in the stream. I have been I have been doing a lot of long hours at work and. It's it's been a shame because this week I, I'd hoped to be really powering on with the Yumaniki fan game, right? And I had a I had a fear about this might happen, but I, I actually I've been saying to my work, look, I want to try and work my hours around a little bit so I can make sure that I've got some kind of time to be a bit creative, right? We had all that sort of agreed, and then this week came around and it's been a complete shit show, and I've ended up working longer hours than I would ever want to. It's been really stressful. It's been horrible, and as I'm sure you can probably associate with this, like, and when you get when you get done with a day where you've been stressed and you've been overworked, trying to then find the energy to go and work on a, a fan game is challenging. Yeah. 
and I've just been like, it, it's, it's been killing me. I've really hated it. So in some ways, this has actually been quite a nice break from thinking about Yumi Nikki fan games too much. However, while Dr. Odd is pointing out that there's 30 days at least still to go, I kind of don't want to put it too far out of my mind because it should worry me a bit. It should worry me because if, I do, if it doesn't worry me, I'm going to procrastinate. If I procrastinate, I'm not going to get anything done. Anyway, right, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this game now. Um, uh, disband team. How was the lag? Was it all right? I was actually fine. I mean, it was probably a little bit slower than I'm used to, but yeah, it didn't really make a difference. I mean, I've tried playing on American servers before, and I didn't, I didn't really have too many problems. But it's probably not the game that really requires super fucking counter strike yeah. pixel perfect accuracy, right? Um, you just need to sort of. <laughs> aim in the general direction of the bug. Um, thank you, Dame. Thank you, uh, Uritsuki. I, I appreciate that. Um, the thing which I've been struggling to figure out how to do is to surface a bit more about what I'm trying to do for the jam. Um, because there's there's a lot to it, and I want to... I, I do want to start talking about it. I don't quite know how. I, I mean, I guess it's to start showing stuff off and then, you know, even if it's kind of vague, like a screenshot or whatever, I think that'll start, it'll start becoming easier to talk about it. Yeah, yeah, maybe. You just throw a screenshot in your server or something, or in the, even the Dream Diary Gym I have, server. And then... I, ha I have done a little bit of that, but I think that's just led to confusion with people where they've been like, what the fuck is that? Um, I mean, what I can say is that not like that first person shooter that we looked at earlier, um, Mayday. This is going to be a 3D game. Um, because because I got to be that I got to be that off the wall, right? It's got to be 3D. Got to be 3D. We're in 2020. Surely we can have a, a Yumi Nikki fan game that's in 3D, right? Never mind. Yeah. Never mind Yumi Nikki 3D. Never mind any of those other fan games. Um, Spooky House of Jump Scares course well-known new Nikki fan game might as well be um yeah okay well i, I, I won't keep you any longer Leighton. thank you very much for for coming on it's, it's been an absolute pleasure yeah. um i hope hopefully you enjoyed yourself it's been excellent talking yeah. to you about i'll come on um, again if you want you just need to message me and i'll uh you know we can do whatever well the thing is people people seem to be quite enjoying um for I don't know if you ever caught any of these, but back back in the day, back in the black and white times when you could go outside, um, I, I, we did used to have slightly more interactive streams where people would come on and shoot the shit. Um, one of the reasons that that stopped happening was because, well, I guess one, because trying to orchestrate it became a bit of a hassle, um, yeah. which leads into the point which, at the time, I was doing it using Skype. I, I mentioned this to Brood last time where I was sharing screens with Skype. You don't need to do any of that anymore. Discord does all that sort of stuff. So, um, yeah, I, I'll, I might, I might well take you up on that lane. But anyway, thank you. I'm, I'm hopefully everyone's appreciated hearing your insights about um, uh, Manda no Yumi and all that sort of stuff. It's, I mean, I've, I found it very interesting. Um, and thank you for carrying me through some Hazard Five uh, Deep Rock as well. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Excellent. Okay, right. Um, I uh, will. I'll, I will leave it there then. I, I I'm going to uh, move you out of the channel, and now I'm going to say bye to these beautiful people. Thank you again, Ryan. Mm -hmm. uh, glad to hear it. It's okay. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure streaming everybody. I, I know that was probably a bit of a left field hit with this um, switch to Deep Rock, but in all honesty, guys, I, I some of you were. were planting seeds about you know is it is it yumi nikki and that made me think well maybe we could try something a bit different but i sincerely hope you've all enjoyed it i've had a good time um i thought leighton was was fantastic I and mean, he, he was very very entertaining and i in some ways i think actually breaking it out of the uh the confines of yumi nikki helped a little bit as well um anyway it's been a it's been nice for me that's the important thing isn't it no of course not Hopefully you've all enjoyed yourself. Um, in case you're tuning in for the first time and you wonder what the hell is going on with this, um, we do random games of some kind every Thursday. This time we played Deep Rock. Next week we'll probably do something different. Maybe we'll go back to Yuminiki fan games. Maybe we'll play something else. Um, hopefully, if you've enjoyed yourself, you can. Add, add, Dame has posted some links to the Discord. 
you can follow along there. You can chat to this mental bunch. Um, so hopefully we'll see you next Thursday. But kids, if you've got much of your Thursday left to go, please enjoy it thoroughly. Um, hopefully you've managed to get some drink out of this. I've managed to have quite a few shots. I already feel pretty tipsy. Um, if you've got if you've got an excellent weekend to look forward to, please enjoy it. Um, I'm not sure I do. I'm probably going to work on my Yuminiki fan game. Got to say, that's the that's the highlight of it. Uh, yeah, again, thanks to Leighton, and uh, thank you everybody for tuning in. It's been a pleasure. Hopefully, I will see you all on the next one.